Okay, we are recording. One of the things that I'm really excited about with the new back office, probably the, in general, it would be the uh, additional management tools. And the management tool that I'm most excited about is where we can actually see how much sales volume that we have for the week. So this is really important because our ranks are tied towards the sales volume. Ranks aren't tied towards the CV. Remember, we can see the CV now when we see new left volume, new right volume. That is the commissionable volume that we're getting paid. But the rank is tied to sales volume. That is the dollar amount <clears throat> of the sales that are happening on our team. And so um, we all celebrated Frank the other day in the post because Frank just made um, two star. And so even though he probably made it just by putting in the work, he probably was not looking and checking the volume because there's no way to check your sales volume right now. But as we go forward, we should be able to check that. So if you know that you need let's say a thousand in volume for the week. You're working on getting two star and you're working on your team doing a thousand in volume for the week and you're at 920 and it's the last day of the month. What is it that you should do? Put in products under someone else and make it go all the way up to the top. That's right. So it, the management tools help to give you more information to know what you should be doing. Because if we can't see our volume and we're only two car bonus packages away from hitting our next rank, if we can't see it, we don't know to go ahead and put those two in. But if you can see it, you're like, oh shoot, I'm close. Let me make some phone calls. Oh, I need some product. Let me order something else. Do you guys see how that can be empowering for your team with pushing to get to the next level? <laughs> yeah. Very much so. And so <clears throat> as you hit the different ranks, excuse me for keep clearing my throat, guys, Let me get some water. As we keep, as you move through the ranks, that increases your income because as you hit the various ranks, the percentage of what you earn <clears throat> from the binary increases. So that's one of the reasons you want to move up the ranks and have your team to move up the ranks because as they move up the ranks and their volume grows, they get a bigger, a greater percentage of the volume in the weekly pay. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions about that? Uh, no, that's pretty simple. I mean, yeah, I have one. Okay. Now dealing with the car bonus, I know the per person has to get four, but like if you got four and other people don't have their four, I don't really get anything from, from that. So I got to have those four get their four in, to really make that work, correct? Right. So having your four is the first step in getting the car bonus because you got to have your yeah. four first. Okay. So by me getting my four, I'll help you get your, your 20, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And so what you, we always want to do as a team, we want a creative culture of having our four in place and making that very important because then that trickles down. When you teach your team members how important having four is okay. because, I don't know, let me mute out somebody's talking. <laughs> when you teach your uh, four, or however many you have, your people, even if you only have one, if you, have, you only have two, how important it is for them to have their four in place each month. That's going to help everybody to get the car bonus when that's just a way of doing things. When each month, everybody's like, look, I want to have my four car bonus packages in place. Because when you have your four, that helps your upline and that helps you. When your downline has their four in place, that helps them and it helps you. And so when everybody has the, knows the importance of having their four, we're going to start popping these car bonuses 
on our team more readily. And so that is what we want, guys. We want, like, recognition is really important. Having people on our team to be celebrated is important. That builds belief. When you can say, oh, the big group is popping bonuses, not when it's just boomy, but when we can get Frank a car bonus, when we can get Patricia, Joanne a car bonus, that builds the belief of other people. It's just like that four minute mile concept. Nobody had broken the four minute mile ever until in the 19, I think it was 50s, when the first guy did it. And then that same year, it was like, Lots of people did it because the one person did it. So I need you all who are listening to this to get focused on breaking that car bonus, getting focused on that, putting it up so you can see. Putting it up so you can see like the structure of how many more you need to get your four and then who of those four has their four. And now when we start getting more people in the, in the big group, to break that car bonus, that's what's gonna happen. More people start to be in, getting it quicker because it's going to raise that belief level. So I need you all really to see this as um, something that is not hard to do. It's only a team of 20. And even if you've never built a team of 20 before, say now is my time. It's gonna be easier now because I've never done it. And finally, now is my time. And so let me give you all a quick tip as you take the next four weeks or eight weeks or whatever to get that car bonus. When you are getting closer, when you're getting close and you may be three or four packages away, you can do some creative things to make sure that you hit it. If you need product, because you know you're selling product, then you can order product under someone that needs a, a package so you can order that product then maybe you have customers who have given you money or customers who are uh paying for an order then you could take that customer's money and <laughs> order that their package <laughs> hold on somebody you need to mute out guys then you can order that package underneath of wherever it is that you need that order. So as a business person, kind of think creatively, like, man, how can I make this happen? Sometimes team members rally around each other. So let's say if Frank is going for the car bonus and he needs several more people, we should be able to look at his team and say, you know, Hey, Gary. Hey, Brenda. Frank only needs this many more. Does anybody have a, a, uh, a order that needs to put in that we can place under him to help to push him up? Okay, so what we want to do is let's keep those concepts in our mind and let's charge. I need you guys pushing even harder. You got to be audacious. What is audacious? Audacious means you take some bold risk. This is business. This is entrepreneurship. It is not time for you to be weak. You got to pull out your inner winner, that rhinoceros in you that charges, that makes the calls, that uses that little bit more principle that Napoleon Hill talks about, where you make the, the extra dial, where you reach out to another person, where you, where you uh, go online and you make that video and shout out to people who are looking to change their, their lives financially. So we just need you to have more of that charging rhinoceros spirit and be bold and be courageous and have that great work ethic. Just think about how your life would be, guys, if you were making $20,000 a month. <clears throat> Some of you maybe don't even have to make that amount to be, be excited and be shouting. $10,000 a month, extra $8,000 a month. Just imagine that. I mean, you don't know how many people I've talked to in the industry this week who are making $60,000 a month, $100,000 a month. <clears throat> These are real <clears throat> excuse me, people like, like you, like me, like, Damn, I mean, average people who started out with a story of struggle and now they got into this industry, they put out the work, they make the contacts. 
and they're building up the volume. Their team is going out here, they're selling the product, and they're growing from 5,000 to 10,000 to 25,000 a month to 40,000 to 50,000 to $60,000 a month. <clears throat> but they spend their time on the phone, working, reaching out to people, reaching out to people and not being scared. And if they are scared, they're doing it afraid. So <clears throat> what I want to do is, um, does anybody have any questions, comments, or feedback about any of that I just shared? You're going to have to unmute yourself because I had muted you out. I just listened to, uh, um, uh, before clicking on uh, uh, African proverb about being afraid to do something, but you just do it anyway. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what you're saying. Just do it. Like when I was used to um, sing, when I first started out singing, I used to be so afraid to stand in front of the people. But once I start singing, then that fear just left. And I mm -hmm. was able to do what I got up there to do. You see? Just do it. What, what a great example, Joanne. So literally, guys, like if you have some people that you need to call, and these people are influencers, meaning difference makers. And you're like, I really need to call this people, this person because if this person got a hold of this thing, could really see it, this could make a difference for my business. But you haven't called them because you've been scared. Understand success is created in the fear zone. You just got to do it. Even if you're sitting there, you're holding the list, you're holding the numbers, just push through and do it and you'll find out, oh my gosh, that wasn't that difficult. Like that person didn't like chew my head off. They were just a nice person. They may or may not have been interested, but it's not like nothing's bad is going to happen. The, the, actually, so I can guarantee you something good is always going to happen. And the good that's going to happen, even if that person doesn't say yes, is you will grow from that experience. <clears throat> That is such a good that comes out of doing things that we're scared to do. You become more. You become more fearless. You like become more expansive. And be like, shoot, I've been scared all this time. These are the people that I should be calling. A lot of times we waste our time in business building with people who don't make a difference. If you're just talking to the people that are easy to talk to, the unskilled people, the non-experienced people, the weak people, the people who really need it, you're really delaying your money. We're really delaying our money. It's easy to talk to those people, but that's not where the true money lies. That's not where the quick success lies. So we have to develop ourselves and push ourselves and overcoming our fears and, and, and pushing against these things that hold us back and keep us stuck and getting to the money. The money is with the people who make a difference. The money is with the influencers. Now we know we still talk to everybody. We don't leave anybody out, but you gotta understand like there are people whose yes really means something. So for example, if you got a pastor who is into network marketing and is open to bringing things to his church and then you have a purse your your broke cousin beverly who was home every day <laughs> not doing anything and they both tell you yes those yeses are not equal you guys got what i'm saying those yeses are not equal they both say yes you want a yes <laughs> but those yeses are not equal but if they <laughs> both say no those no's are equal you got what I'm saying? A no is a no, yes. but a yes is not a yes. I have a question. Yes. Go ahead, Muriel. Okay. Uh, I went out yesterday, and I had my postcard, uh, but when I'm approaching people who are busy working or whatever, I just give them my card and say, this is something that you might be interested in. Um, but I don't have a conversation. How should I? How should I be approaching people when I go out? <clears throat> All right, it's another great question. Well, postcards and how you use postcards, you just kind of you got to know what you're working with. Meaning, just know that if you're handing out postcards without getting information back, 
you'll get like a quarter of a half of 1%. I mean, literally your, re your results and your return is going to be little. <laughs> okay. But, but if you know that going in, you just know it. At least you're skilled enough to know this person is real busy. I'm going to give them this postcard. If I don't get their number back, there's a chance I'll never hear from them again. So if this postcard cost me 25 cents and, and this is five minutes of my time, maybe I've just wasted it, but who knows? It could be a person who does respond. So mm -hmm. in using your postcards, know that it's better to always get someone's information. If you're going to give them something, you want to get something. Okay. <laughs> but sometimes... Sometimes we do do things like, oh, I'm walking into the mall. Let me just put my postcard on the driver's side window of all these cars as I'm going in and just, you know, mm -hmm. it's not in the dark, but let me just try. Once in every okay. 500, somebody may respond and that person may sign up. So work okay. to get a person's information, but see, you don't always have time to do that. They don't necessarily always give it back to you, but work to do that. Okay. Okay. And say, oh, here's something you can do quickly. You can say, hey, do you have a business card? So when they may have oh. time to write it down, you give this, hey, listen, we're, we're working on getting Baltimore healthy. I want to give this to you. Do you have a business card? So that oh, is a that's good. way okay. of capturing their number without them having to write it down, without you having to explain. And people want to give you their business card because they're thinking they're promoting their stuff. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm more, more healthy. Okay. Let me write this. Okay, right. great. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Questions, comment, something you'd like to share with the team, a tip you'd like to give? Uh, let's see. Hello, Patricia. Good seeing you on this morning. So um, while we're waiting to see if there's any, uh, any other questions, um, I want you guys to understand what I said on Sunday about duplication. As you learn this information, you got to start teaching it to your people. Ooh, here's a great recruiting tool. Let's say you don't have anybody on your team. If you take some of the nuggets of what I share with you on these Zooms and on the conference calls, and then you make videos out of them, you are positioning yourself as a leader. <clears throat> so you take something I talk about, you talk about it on video, and you put it out. People will think it's your idea. Or maybe you already <laughs> knew what I was talking about, you just never made a video on it. I'm telling you, this is how you recruit. A lot of times I recruit people not because I'm saying the product does this or that. It may be a training video. Somebody may be online looking for a way to make money from home, and they feel like, oh, I'm going to sign up with that person because they're knowledgeable. I'm going to sign up with that person because that person seems like they know what they're talking about. Seems like they'd be a good person to sponsor me. So when you're, you're, if you're just always trying to sell the product, selling the product is good, but that's not the only way to get business. Leading with the business that will work, but that's not the only way to get people into the business. How about understanding about branding yourself? How about understanding about positioning yourself as someone in the marketplace that people want to follow, that people can learn from? So you do, you make videos sharing what you know, giving value, and that magnetizes people to you, okay? Let me give you one more okay. tip. Oh. oh, go ahead, Muriel. Okay, but now <clears throat> you said sharing videos. So my understanding is that I should be, well, I haven't done a video yet, but, uh, but I'm going to do a video. But, uh, I mean, when I do a video, well, I'll be f focusing on, one of our products or am I focusing more so on a on a problem? What would you, Do you say understand what I mean? Well, huh? Joanne, Joanne, how would you answer that question? <laughs> um, I think it could be both. 
you know, if you focus on the problem and then you discuss or speak about the solution for that problem. Mm -hmm. I agree with Joanne. Mm -hmm. Okay. And understand when you're making videos, it's not like you're making a video or three videos. This should be a part of your marketing plan. Okay. Videos. So in time, you should have videos on the product, videos on health issues, videos on training, videos on great things that happen, videos on things you learn, videos on disappointment. I mean, you're just making videos. You're just trying to get your presence out there in the marketplace. <clears throat> Let me give y'all one more tip before we go in reference to videos and maybe even posted in general. You got to get over your fear of being you. Because there are people out there who are waiting to hear your story. And they are, want to connect with your story. They won't connect with my story. They'll connect with your story. And they want you to be real and authentic. People out here online, they're just, they're real average everyday people who are looking for an improvement in their life. And so many times we try to be perfect behind the camera. It's not about that. It's really a, even about showing your mess. Like the calls, <clears throat> the times where I talked about me being on section eight, using food stamps, not having money to pay for the heat in my house and my family was cold. Oh my yeah. God, that has gotten the most response out of anything. Not me saying I'm a six figure earner making all this money. It is me talking about my pain, talking about what I've been through and where I've come from. That's what connects with people. So I want, it's not about trying to make it seem like, oh, you're all this and that, but it could oh. be what you've gone through and now where you're going to, how you were able to, it was so hard. It was a challenge, but thank oh. God he was able to send a person to help you, give you something to read, let you find a video and that help you to get a better mindset. And now you were on your way to a better place and that you found something, a vehicle that's taking you there. So when I work with people who are like seniors, I say, there's a senior, there's a niche market for you. There are so many retired people who've got to go back and get another job and they don't want to go to Walmart. Speak to those people. If you're 70 some years old, speak to those 70 some year old people and speak to their hearts. Say, listen, guys, maybe you didn't do right in your retirement and you find yourself having to go back to work. But I'm telling you, there's another way. Like you can you don't have to go to Walmart. You can make an, a, a, a income from the comfort of your own home without knowing even a lot about the internet. I'm doing it. You know, you position yourself there as that person in your seventies, you talk to those people. There are a lot of people out here in their 70s looking for way in their 80s i've met them i've talked to them they need money okay. and they're trying to figure out a way and you got to inspire them have a have a ministry to seniors calling oh. all my senior citizens because i am one of them connect with the issues that senior citizens have if you're a senior you know what they're dealing with do I stay wow. home? Do I get another job? Do I try to live on this fixed income? Social Security is only giving me this amount, but I really want to make more. I mean, talk about those things and people will say, yes, I feel you. They will call you and want to be with you because you are authentic and real. Okay. Well, because that's what I desire to do is to reach out to seniors because People don't understand all the things that seniors go through. So, okay, well, now what about when I go to, um, I mean, I'm thinking about, like, going to senior centers and, you know, to, um, like. No, what, I, what I have found at senior centers, Okay. Um, you want to talk to the activity person and see if you maybe can do some type of wellness seminar so you don't go in there being salesy, like I got this product, you may go into the senior citizen uh, center and let them know that we're on a campaign to get Baltimore healthy and we're connecting with the other senior centers to do um, natural health seminars. Uh -huh. 
Okay. What about a, 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 what's the party, the tea party? So, um, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, that, that will work. But you can't okay. see, depending on how they do it, because sometimes they're like, you can't come in here selling stuff, but you can give information. So you kind of got to mm -hmm. massage it and figure out what's the best way to <clears throat> to approach it. But if they, if if you connect with somebody and they say, sure, you can do that, then then you want to okay. do that, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, but getting back with connecting with your audience, there may be people on your team, maybe there are single moms and they want to reach out to other single moms. Maybe you are like weight loss is such a huge one. I'm telling you, I know somebody who recently came into this um, Laura life and they've got a community of people who are really focused on the weight loss. And so they put these people in their groups and they, her business is exploding because they're sharing recipes and they're talking about intermittent fasting and they're talking about when they fell off the wagon and other people are encouraged and say, come on girl, get back on. You may have ate those three bowls of ice cream last night, but get refocused. And her group has grown by 3000 in under six months because there's a community of people who want to lose weight and they're supporting each other. And they're talking about their wins and their victories. And they're talking about the times in the valley where it's hard. They're talking about when they get stuck at a certain weight, how to get off of that. They're sharing the testimonies about the, the, the tea and the coffee and the lore fit. And they're bringing customers and prospects into that community. And they're seeing that. And those people are getting inspired. And they're joining and they're purchasing. And they're losing weight together. And they're posting their pictures. <clears throat> and they're being yeah. authentic and they're showing their fat, you know, and they're showing how they can't uh, yeah. button their clothes <laughs> and they're showing how the dress has gotten too tight. But then they're also celebrating, hey, it's starting to get loose. Hey, I can, yeah, I can get mm. the, the, the belt a little bit tighter. And people are joining like crazy because of this. 3,000 mm -hmm. in less than six months <laughs> because of that community. Okay. I have another question. Um, sure. This is going to sound crazy, but I, I still don't know how much, how much is the tea? How much do I sell the tea for? So here's how you figure out what to sell your products for. You never want to lose money. You always want to make a profit. So first okay. of all, if you didn't know what I'm about to tell you, you just you want to sell a tea for more than more than what it costs you, okay? So that's the first thing right. you want to do. Right, I know that. Okay. So we normally hand to hand sell the tea for twenty dollars. One package of tea. If I'm selling this to somebody, I'm selling this tea for twenty dollars. Okay. Oh. But if I have bought the fifty pack of tea. And I've only paid $5 for this tea, then I'm still making a profit. If the person says, I don't have 20, and I say, Well, what do you have? They say, I got 15 on me. I'll sell it for the 15 and tell them they can pay me the five later. And if they never pay me, I'm still making a profit. Okay. 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 Sometimes when you may do special events, like when we did this event at the First Lady's Tea. We tell them this tea, a week supply, this is a gallon of tea here, normally sells for $20, but today we're letting it go for $14.95. Oh, okay, okay. So you know what now, I'm saying? What, so about, you, say what about the Thrive? So the Thrive, oh, wait a minute, let me finish about this tea. So, okay. um, so this is just one pack, but we sell a month supply for Sixty dollars, hand to hand, tea. of the tea. But you okay. can give a person a deal and still and sell it to them for the same price that they bought it for online. But why would we sell a month for sixty? Well, if you're selling a package for twenty, twenty times four is eighty. So if they bought four of these at twenty dollars, that's eighty dollars. So if you sell it for okay. sixty, that's twenty dollars off. So you're still okay. giving them a deal. Okay. And also oh, in our pricing, when people get product from you right then and there, that's a convenience. 
they do not have to wait for it to come to them online. Just like mm-hmm. we go into 7-Eleven, it's a convenience store. We're going to pay more for a thing of orange juice than in the grocery store because of the convenience. So when people get mm-hmm. it from you hand to hand, they pay the convenience fee. So they pay okay. a little bit more. Okay. But you have the ability to still work with people, you know, and give them a little oh. discount. Can I come in on that, Boomy? Hey, go ahead, Percy. Yeah, uh, first of all, good morning. Uh, another thing on the T, I like how she was saying, uh, you sell it, um, selling it for 20. If you got four, you make it 60. A lot of people like that term free. So I always say, uh, buy three, get one free. So you still getting your 60 bucks. So, and like I say, just by putting that free in their mind, like I say, it, it kind of eases things and make them go ahead and pay for it. Oh, another thing. Good. Another thing on the tea, for an example, I know some of us uh, go ahead and make the tea, so you're giving them an option there. And like say, uh, a gallon of water only costs like a dollar. So uh, if you're going to do uh, make the tea, you could sell it for like 25 bucks. That's how I do mine. Okay. Now, what about the Thrive? So, okay. oh, go ahead, Percy. Uh, I'm just going to say on the Thrive, uh, I, I just do uh, single sticks. I do like... Uh, uh, oh. single stick for like three bucks uh, for a stick and uh, okay. like saying if I give them a deal on that um, say three six nine twelve six nine twelve uh, I say uh, buy four and get one free so um, like I say it's kind of giving them a discount on that too okay. and for the pack I sell it for 35 for and I don't sell any packs that's not bad yeah so you mean and a pack I do the individual pack for 15? Yeah, yeah a pack of fifteen. Yeah. And then for the individual pack, I sell for five dollars. But if it gets five, I sell for twenty. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you guys are helping me. Okay, <laughs> okay. So you sell the pack of the the pack of Thrive for thirty five dollars a pack. Yes. And and you're and you're selling the singles for three dollars a single. Uh, well, three to five oh, for a single. Okay, three to five. Yeah, oh, shrink one up on me. I do the uh, if I did a pack, I was doing it for thirty. Yeah, I didn't do thirty-five. I did thirty. You did thirty for the what? Yeah, now? yeah for the fifteen pack. But and of course, uh, I look at it as being a... you giving it way too cheap. You know why? If you sell uh-huh. it for thirty, thirty plus thirty is sixty. That's what it, 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 it costs them. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it costs yeah. them more than that online. So I thought it was, back off. If you order from yourself, I thought it was uh, 49 45 I can't remember. I thought it was yeah, well, it costs, no, it's it 59 costs But we'll put it in hell and she becomes 65 Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. 65 So just make sure that you are um, – not cutting yourself out of money and you're making a profit. Yeah, and then right. of course, yeah, when you order from yourself, so let's say you ordered it from yourself as a customer. So you got paid yeah. from that own order. Yeah. So then you know you have less money into it. So you can let it go for a little less, but I still wouldn't sell it for less than whether they can get it on the internet. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's a, I, I, I searched on the internet for the prices that they will uh, pay, how do I find the cost for uh, how much it is on for somebody who goes to the internet to order it? So okay. Act like you're going to order as a customer. Act right. like you're going to order it yourself as a customer, and then that way you see the price. And then look at it uh, as you order uh, from yourself as a distributor and look at the price of it that way. Because normally what I do, oh. once I make my sales, I go back and I order as a customer. So it's like you double dipping. Right. Oh, so at, once you make your sale, then you go back in and you order under your name as a customer or somebody else's name? Well, I put it in, like, in my kid's name or my mom's name or something like that as a customer. And like I say, by being a customer, you can always go back to that same spot and just keep ordering. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. So oh, everybody man. needs to have their car bonus package. Like at the beginning of the month, take care of having your own car bonus pack under your ID number. Once you okay. have that one car bonus package in place, you're qualified for everything that the company gives you as far as compensation. 
So anything okay. after that that you need to order, do like Percy says and put it under customer position. So you're getting that kickback. You're getting that 50% and customer bonus back to you. Okay. And then some of the volume is going into the binary as well in your weak leg uh -huh. for you to get paid off of. Thank you. You're welcome, y'all. And teach that to your team members. They'll appreciate that. Okay. All right. All right. And then with the 50 pack of tea, we tell people yeah. your first 50 pack, buy it as normal. Um, nobody can make you. But what we say is buy your fit, first 50 pack as normal. So like, for instance, Frank, if Gary buys a 50 pack, I would want him to purchase that 50 pack as normal so that you get that $250. Right. But when people get smart, they realize, oh, well, I, we, I, I could buy that, fit, that 50 pack for myself and get back to 50. So right. now the 50 pack is only costing me $250. So every time that we order a, that 50 pack of tea, we pay 497, the company pays out that $250 commission. So on that product, it's not a one-time uh, first order bonus. Each time a person orders at 497, that 250 is kicked out. But what we okay. say is, uh, I'm teaching your downline to order as regular on their first one so that you can get the commission. And the same thing, we'll teach their people to order so they can get the commission after that. I let them order under their selves so now they're getting back 250 and now that tea is only costing them five dollars a pack. Wow, that's good. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. All right. And then let Thanks. me tell you this other thing you can do. Maybe you put in. So maybe your your team members say, shoot, I don't have a four five hundred. You may say, Okay, you got two fifty, they got two fifty. Let's order it together. So I'm using mm -hmm. Gary as an example. So Gary is a person. Right. Let's say you mm -hmm. sponsor Gary. So um, Frank, you may say, all right, Gary, let's put our 250s together. Gary orders 250, puts in 250, you put in 250. You put it under Gary's number, mm -hmm. under Gary's position. And in that mm -hmm. way, you get the 250 back. Okay? Mm -hmm. You yeah. get 250 back. And then y'all can split the split the um the tea. Yeah, the tea. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. Can you say that? that one, can you say that one more time? So collaborate with someone on your team, your upline or downline, and put money in together to order that fifty pack of tea to cost five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Knowing that. When the 250 comes back, whoever you collaborated with, y'all can split up that profit too. And now y'all, you got all this tea that you've only paid $5 a pack for. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do it one more time, Boomy. I'm sorry. So, so <laughs> collaborate with someone on your team and order yeah. the, the big pack of tea together, it costs $500. Mm -hmm. So, okay. but if two people went in together, that's 250 a piece. If four people went in together, that's just $75 a piece. Oh, okay, that's the thought, okay. All right. Oh. All right, thank you. Order it in somebody in, in your downline. Understand this, guys. We get paid off of our downline, not ourselves. So whatever we do in our position, all that volume flows up. Right, and okay. We, we get paid off of everything from underneath of us. Mm. So the lower you put volume, the more people accounts for. Mm. So, for example, Frank, if you put an order under I'm just making this a scenario. Let's say you put an order under um, Gary uh -huh. in his position. That volume is going to count for Brenda and you. You, if you mm -hmm. put it well, underneath yeah, I, yeah. one of, of Gary's people. He recruits somebody. Then that volume will count for 
Gary, Brenda, and you. And me. The, mm -hmm. the lower you put volume, it it flows it goes up to all the way to the top. Yeah. Okay. Everybody get a piece of the pie. <laughs> yep, that's the best way to do it. Okay. Right. I think that that helped me a lot because I was out and I was, I mean, I'm going to tell you the truth, but I, I have tea, but I'm thinking, well, I don't even know how much to sell this tea for, so I wasn't really trying to push the tea, but now, okay, this has helped me. Thank yeah. you. No, yeah, you want to push the tea. The tea is, I mean, it's, it's easy. It's easy to sell. Of all the products, the tea has been the thing the most where I'm out and about. I tell somebody about it. I pull it out and show it. How much is it? Oh, here, I got $20 right here. Oh, let me cash app you the money. So I'll when you, so when you meet somebody and you, um, so how would you approach them about the tea? I mean, how, what would be your, your, you know, spill to not spill, but you know what I mean. What would you say? Well, we to would have started the tea on the spot because I have tea to sell. So when you're in a conversation, you got you, your conversations have to be authentic. I just don't walk up to somebody to with the purpose of selling them the tea. I may be okay. sitting next to them and we're just having a conversation, and maybe something comes up where I say. Oh, yeah, you know, I went to this seminar I had to do this weekend. They may say, oh, what do you do? Or I'm saying, yeah, I'm, I'm um, helping people with, with weight loss. Oh, 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 well, how are you helping them? So okay. it's not that I'm going up to a person just to sell a tea, but in conversation. And when you start having conversations with people, you kind of know, listen, be interested in other people. And you ask another Hi. person. Oh, what is it that you do? They're going to ask you, what is it that you do? Okay. So mm -hmm. you be interested in them. Ask them what it is that they do. Find out about them. Be authentic in that. And in time, they'll reciprocate. Them. So we got to learn how to okay. have good quality conversations. Helps you to That's get fine. prospects. Helps you in building your list. And just making that connection with people. Sometimes you meet people while you're out. And I mean, people right. I'm out, and I'm like, I ain't going to talk to them right now about the business. I'm just going to make a friend, get their number, and follow back up with them later. Mm -hmm. But I've built my list, and it didn't cost me anything okay. but some time. I was going to be sitting there anyway. Thank you. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Okay. So we've just learned several things we've learned how to increase our profits we've learned how to get the tea for five dollars even if we don't have all the money ourselves which is increasing our profit we learn how to break down the products and sell them individually to even make more profit because maybe somebody needs to thrive but they can't afford right now sixty-five dollars but you can get them started on twenty dollars worth Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they buy a couple packets of the Thrive for twenty dollars, and and then you this is what you do. Remember, a educated customer is a repeat customer. So mm -hmm. maybe you okay. say, "Now listen, before you go on a day and, and take this Thrive, I got a homework assignment for you. I want okay. you to go to randystory.com." Because I want you to know how powerful these greens are and what they can do in the body. I want you to watch this 13-minute video at randystory.com and see what these greens did for Randy. This is that amaz same amazing product that will be working in your body just like it worked for Randy. So okay. remember, a educated customer is a repeat customer. An educated, informed customer is a repeat customer. So don't just feel like, oh, I've been sold the product. Now, get them educated. We've got all kinds of information in on lauralifecentral.com where you can email them something on the ingredients, where you can email them some written testimonies. Your job, you want to understand, you want repeat business, 
You don't want just a one-time lay down sale. You want repeat business. So right. you got to keep testimonies in front of your customers. Keep them feeling good about the decisions that they made and help them to get the result that they want. Sometimes we sell people product. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh, I made the sale, but then the person never takes it. And so you don't get a testimony. They don't get a result and you don't get any more business from them. Mm -hmm. So your job's not over just in making the sale. Mm -mm. You want to get the res help that person to get the result that they're looking to get. Okay. All right. Anybody have anything to add to that? No. Do you really follow helpful. up on your customers? Like, uh, of you course. Know, like, once you make a sale, like you meet a new person and you sell them the, you know, drive, do you follow up in like so many days to see how it's working for them or do they have a testimony or anything? Frank, you want to answer that? Of course, you always want to do the follow-up because you're showing interest in your client. Once you, once you okay. see that you're showing interest, they're going to want to stick with you and also buy from you. And also, at the same time, they may come in and be on your team. So you always want to cultivate what you already have. Okay, thank you. And, and that's a good lesson for me because... Because I am um, make a point of always being out there in the marketplace, like always making videos and posts and attracting a lot of people to me. One of the areas that I did not, was not taking the time for was the follow up because I was just like selling, selling, selling. But you don't have uh -huh. to find more as many new people to sell to if you would just call right. the people that you have. So I was like, okay, boom, right. slow down, follow up with these people. So you can get the repeat business and you are not always having to get new business. I mean, new business is great, mm -hmm. but understand as well that, um, you know, you, you, you want to cultivate that relationship with your customers and it really oh. takes being organized. So what I would do, I would write it on a calendar. If you sell somebody on Monday, write mm -hmm. down on your calendar when to call them and follow up because you will forget. I know it's me. I will forget all yep, about it. That's true. <laughs> There's something else too, though, Boomy. Uh, by doing that, especially following up with your customers, uh, you're showing them, you know, that you care, but your customers will bring you customers because they're going to tell people how you treat them. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And this is another question. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Before you get that, I want to I wanna expand on what Percy said. Your customers okay. bringing you customers. Let's be intentional about that. Tell okay. two ways I got for you. Tell your customers, Lucy, for every five people that you bring to me that mm. get a month supply of the tea, I'm going to give you a month for free. Or they yeah, buy a month supply of any of the products, I'm going to give you a month supply of a product for free. You would have mm. made enough money in order to do that and still make a profit. Then mm. you can tell her, for every three you bring me, I'm going to give you half off. Mm. Okay. okay. So this is a way to get your customers really working for you. And you keep in touch with them. All right, girl, two down, one more to go to get your next order half <laughs> off. All right, three down, two more to go to get your product free. So that's okay. one way to get your customers working for you. Now, here's another way. Ooh, if we would get good at this, y'all, this would explode. This is what you tell your customers. You say, now listen. I want you to do me a favor. If you could do me a favor on this, on the, your next order, I'm gonna give you a nice good discount, or I'm gonna, I'm you know, wave the shipping or whatever. I want you to take a selfie with this product, and I want you to post out on social media. I'm excited to put this to the test. Stay tuned. Then I want you to tag me and about 50 of your friends. When you get your, your customers to do that, they are going to work for you on the social media platforms where all the people are. Then people are going to start asking them, well, what is it? Oh, tell me your results. Oh, okay, I'm going to stay tuned. What you doing now, girl? What you taking now? So now you are working the audience of your customer that you don't know that you would never touch but because you asked your customer to do you a favor take a picture of the product or them with the product post it out and be very elusive don't be calling all what it is be very elusive say i'm excited to put this to the test stay tuned 
That's like creating a curiosity post. Having to tag Could I you. Do that for me as a as a, a you, am I a distributor or representative? What am I um, as a dis- yeah, I mean, we use the interchange. I could do that for me, you know. Yeah, uh-huh. yep, you could do that, okay. especially good when you're first starting or you get a new product. Hey, I'm excited to put this to the test. Stay tuned. But then you want to tag 50 people to make sure that they see it. And you want to get your customer to tag you so you'll know they made the post and tag 50 of their friends because you want to be able to see their response. So this is helping them and it's helping you. So several things are going to happen. They're going to get their three for 50%. They're going to get their five for product free. They're going to see all the response of people who want it. And they may even say, well, shoot, this money going to you. I want to sign up so I can get these customers. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. All right. So last, I'm, I'm telling you, again, I know somebody who used that concept. And, man, I mean, shh business for days just because she had their their customer to do that one thing get your customers talking on their social media platforms for you okay i had another question but i forgot it all right well you didn't have a you got to write it down man we got to write it down (laughs) let's get coach danita's question coach uh Coach Danita, when I saw it, it said, how do you, she said, how do we get team members to be active? Well, when you say active, Coach Danita, do you mean to actually have purchase an order? I'm going to assume that's what you mean. You can let me know. Because you could mean active like doing the business or you could be active meaning purchase an order. So she said, yes. Okay. Now. I think you came in differently than most of us because you were using using the Africa market. Because in the United States market, we don't give people an option of coming in for free. We just don't sign people up that way. If we do very rarely, maybe 1% of the time. So it's not, I mean, people don't make money for free. I didn't come like in, come in really. free. We don't even tell them about it. Say it again. I didn't come in like that. I didn't recruit um, Africa first. I oh, okay. First. So we, if you if you have an issue, and I'm going to personally and frank to answer this, if you have an issue with people not becoming active, apparently you're telling them that they can get started with no money because you can't no, even I'm see that on the front of the site. I followed Jackie. So that's what Africa was. So you were just doing it the way we had to do it in Africa. So guys, in Africa, everybody gets started in the free position. So that's why Danita was doing it that way. In the United States, we don't even say anything ab- about free. We do very rarely. I mean, if it's mentioned on a call or whatever, it's just mentioned, but it's like a go- foregone conclusion that you pay money when you join. Percy, would you agree with that? Yeah, I normally tell them uh, the business is free. You don't have to pay for the business, but you have to start with a purchase of a product. Right. It doesn't even matter if it's I do a tell $15 them that, product but- or whatever. Yeah, if they don't, I don't even put them in the system. Right. Yeah, that's um, when sense. it comes down to the people in America. I always lead with the you know them purchasing first, and the other. Well, I think I've done a couple of American people, and they saw my post where you know I was following leadership, and they told me to post it, and they was like, "Oh well, can I get it for free?" And it's like you all you're in, but that doesn't mean you know. That's how you be work out business. So um, I have quite a few people has been purged out because they have not placed their order in the system. So is that still going to be happening? I don't know how often they're going to purge and I hope it happens because just going yeah. forward, have a different mindset. All of our mindsets, we don't have a free mindset at all. You come in, you you buying something? I right. mean, the only, you, yeah. The only free mindset that you want to use for an example would be just like that tea because it's still not free. Like say, you can see that's a perfect example of all the red spots in there because you mentioned free. People always think they're going to get something for free, so you only use that that terminology free when you're doing the buy three get one free. 
you're buying something and then you're going to get something for free. So like get in your mind now and I would write an affirmation that has to do with this and do some subconscious reprogramming because you just need to start attracting a better quality of entrepreneur. I'm so happy and grateful now that uh, business partners come to me easily ready to buy or something like that and, and start really get on that frequency because um, people should at least purchase a month supply or something. I don't even sign people up with $14.95. And we've got to make people qualify for our time. If you're not going to be on auto ship and, and you're not going to purchase a product, you don't want to make money. I mean, right. you've got to purchase the product to make money. Right. you got to have your product on hand. you got to be a product of the product. So don't even, you know. Mm -mm. Call I mean, me later. or exactly. I'll get back So this is what you can do. Let's do this. Now, let's say if there's a person, for some reason, they're really eager to get going. I make, you would want to make that free spot real special. Now, let me tell you, I don't do this for everybody. This is what I'm going to do. I will put you in this position. If you give me your credit card, right? We collect the credit card so I can put this in on Friday when you get paid. But I got to have 10 names and numbers from you today. And I got to see you get it started to work today because people just don't value free. They'll get started and then they won't go to work. They won't order. So if you want to get, if a person's going to get in free on Monday, you're going to give me all your 16 digits, your expiration date, your CVV, so that on Friday, I can run that card for you. Right. But most of the time, we don't even do that because people here in the States know, look, this business. We're trying to make money. The cost of doing business. You gotta have your product on hand. And if you don't have if you don't have seventy, eighty dollars to get started in the business, you really need this. You need to get to selling like ASAP. If they say, Oh, I don't have eighty five dollars to get started, well what do you have? So that's what I find out. Well if you were getting gonna get started today, how much do you have? If they say I don't have anything, they didn't really kind of disqualify. Me. True. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. I needed that. You're welcome. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining in this morning. We've been on here for an hour now. Really great questions. I'm going to record this and put it on YouTube for people who missed it to see. Appreciate you the questions that you all asked. Appreciate the input that you all um, gave. So stay tuned because a couple times, probably a week, we'll we'll do something like this. So I'll just post something in the chats and send something to you on messenger and if you can get on great and if you can't no problem all right guys remember new back office should be up today the site may be down for a couple hours so don't worry about that get on the phone and make some connections with people try to get some sales reach out and get customers peak interest get some people to listen to our sizzle call information and um with that this call is officially over and Thank hopefully we'll be talking again. The back office will be up. Bye-bye. Thank, -bye. Thank, oh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank Don't you. Don't forget about our opportunity Thank call. You get yourself guests. Work today to get guests for the opportunity call tonight, okay? Oh, tonight. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Bye -bye. you. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Thank you.